Hey everyone and welcome back to the MedGrow channel and today we're going to be answering Google's most asked questions to medical students featuring three medical students. <laughs> Who what better to ask? Why do we Cringe is the staple so of this channel. Do you not know this by now? We should just call ourselves Cringe Bros. The first question is how do medical students pay for medical school? How do they pay for medical school? Financial aid. Loans on loans on loans on loans. Yeah, it's a mix of a lot of different things for yeah. different situations. But overall, I think medical school is expensive as hell. Too so expensive. It, it's good that this is the first question. Yeah, so um, considering each medical student when they come out is how much in debt? 200,000. 200, so $200,000, $400,000, $600,000 in debt, people. This Jesus is not free. Christ. Yeah, we should have probably taken that into account. Okay, so yeah, definitely financial aid helps a ton, mm -hmm. um, especially if your school is good with financial aid. Unfortunately, each school has a reputation for like, if they are good with financial aid, mm -hmm. it's actually a huge factor in deciding where you go to school. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my school is pretty good with financial aid. Uh, Shaman's school is really good and Herman's is pretty good, but not like the best. The best, yeah, but Shaman got multiple uh, yeah, full Shaman's ride school offers. has a lot of no, alumni. I'm also saying that has got multiple full ride offers, but he chose that. Yeah, so it's know. very important to look at financial aid when yeah. picking what med school to go to. But for factor. me, it wasn't like the determining factor because yeah. Yale has a lot of other things going for it, along with the aid I got. Um, but yeah, some schools do offer full rides, which is very tantalizing. Yeah. It is a definitely something Can, something huge you consider, but I know most people still wouldn't use a financial aid as the sole purpose of picking right, something else. Right, because long term, the better, better yeah. school is going to get you that, that Yeah, more like more. I know a lot of my friends have gotten better financial aid offers at other schools, but chose the school I go to for a different reason. Yeah. Um, Great way to put but it. Yeah, on. loans, financial aid. You could work. Most people don't work in med school. It's pretty no, impossible. it's very difficult. Unless yeah. you have a very lenient job. Like no, like do. obviously the medical schools themselves yeah, give like you a, a flexible chance. Flexible job. Yeah, like medical schools themselves have librarian jobs where you can sit there and study or yeah. you know Research work study over jobs. The summer. Work study jobs. But not basically. it's not significant enough to pay for your. But like life. yeah, not gonna pay your. You're still gonna be in debt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think what Sean was referring to in impossible is like if you're working Burger King and trying to do medical school. Yeah, no, it's impossible. It's not like you have to have a very flexible job. Right. Okay, next. All right. How do medical students study? That Ooh. has 9 million answers. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were so, saying kids. Yeah, it's true. I think at the end of the day, it is looking at a crap ton of pages, a crap ton of text, mm -hmm. trying to absorb it. And a lot of people nowadays are focusing on questions, questions, questions. Like these short little questions from something called Inky. Right? Or is it Anki? Anki? Whatever. A lot of people are now just spending their whole lives looking at these yep. like questions and then... A thousand questions a day, every day on Anki. Um, Not that I'm hating on those people. You do you, but I'm just saying that's what they do. Yeah, <laughs> so those are like the two most popular things. Um, it's what different for me. I personally love to learn the physiology, pathology. I like to read about all of it. So initially when I was doing medical school, I was the guy reading Robbins and I read the first five chapters of it and it was just too grueling. I wasn't keeping up with class, but I would love to do that. I'm definitely going to go back and read through Robbins, read through a bunch of other yeah, textbooks. Yeah, just don't have time get. though in med yeah. school to study. The Once I get time, I'm going to definitely go back to the studying pattern I had, but Overall, it's different for everybody. You have to find your own pattern. There's so many resources out there. And it's not necessarily going to be what you like. It's going to be what you can fit into the time frame. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. That's a good point. So that's how medical students study. They find a, go through a crap ton of resources until they find the ones they like and dig into it like crazy. Yep. How do medical students memorize? Mm, how you do just they neurotically read, you? Yeah. to be honest. It depends, again, on each person. There are some people that do songs. Uh, so there are some people that do pictures and mnemonics. Like sketchy work really well for me. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, yeah, the thing about medical school is that you can spend time trying to memorize a page, and then two days later you'll That's realize cool. that you completely forgot what it yeah. was. So it's really important to find like tips and tricks to help better retain that information. Like Herman was mentioning, songs, yeah. um, like phrases, um, like uh, torches and stuff. Like there's all of these mnemonics yeah. and special things to retain the info. Now there's even better resources like Herman was saying. I, I'm just repeating Herman's answer basically. Yeah, yeah, you just, Herman, you've made yeah, the yeah. most consolidated let's perfect go, answer yeah. in like five seconds. But like there was a, uh, when I did a video a while back when I looked at studies that showed what study techniques are most efficacious, a lot of it was spaced out uh, questions. 
testing yourself. So right. if you keep reading, it's really not going to do much for you. And also you need to actively like for step now, if I read something yesterday, I have to revisit it a month from now at the very least, because there's no way it's going to stick with me through steps. So you kind of have to memorize by active recall, a spaced interval training or uh, memorizing, et cetera, et cetera. Why do medical students drop oh, out? Oh no. Oh. We tackled oh, this a little, no. tackled this a little bit. We did one of the bit reasons. of a hot take on I... the question. Yeah. Why All do they good. drop out? I think a lot of it is due to academic struggles. Like mm -hmm. some people. That's the number one cause. It's a lot of people from different backgrounds are getting into medical school now, and some of them when you do have to stop all the side stuff and really focus on medicine, right. really focus on studying, it's just not their thing. And so you do see those people drop off. Then there are, like we were mentioning, people who are venturing out to start businesses, start their own company, and it's just not something that can be done in med school because med school is pretty time consuming and makes you do like, you have commitments to like your clerkships yeah. and stuff. So they drop out to go pursue their own thing. And Benicia had a bit of a hot take on that, uh, that topic. Well, you exactly said what I was saying. There's two types. There's pretty much the people who really wanted to do it, but they were overwhelmed or something was going on in their life that they just couldn't compromise, a personal emergency, something like that, and they had to leave. Um, that is completely understandable. I get that. You, you know, you, it's your life. You want to do what's best for you. But I was referring to, I think there is this new wave and I think admissions committees based on conversations I've had with some of them are well aware that there is this new wave of students who are applying to get into med school without the intention of practicing medicine. I think that is a huge concern for a lot of people who come from business backgrounds, who come from, uh, you know, architectural backgrounds, whatever, like out of the norm backgrounds, especially business. I think admissions committees are definitely on alert of who's going to just take the med degree and not even practice medicine with it, or who's going to just drop out once something better comes their way that makes them more money. I also want to say that those people that drop out, that doesn't mean they're not smart. I think a lot of people can actually be a doctor once you get past the it's kind like, of barriers on first and second year. I think once you get to clinicals and you're out there and you're learning in the field, I think a lot of people can pick up on what being a doctor is. It's just you got to get through the gateways of biochem and all that. It's just annoying time-wise. I think everybody is... No, some people also just aren't good at like biochemistry and they get limited there. And that but doesn't make I you think, not smart. That just might not be your thing. I think you if you got into medical school, you did your MCAT, and you're struggling with biochem, I don't think you can never get biochem, I just think it might take you a little bit more time, which sure. unfortunately time is not your, in your side in sure. med school, which yeah. might drive some people to get overwhelmed. Why do medical students get depressed? <laughs> mm. That's a big topic. That's a good I think this has a lot to do with, yes, grades, pressure, you got to pass, obviously the kind of basics you think about. But then there's other things like imposter syndrome is a huge thing that goes on it's in medical huge school. If it's you a didn't lot know. bigger than even I thought it was. Like studies are showing me that so many. There, she's getting imposter syndrome right now. <laughs> so the main thing is you're in a place that everyone is really competent around you, everyone's really great, and you feel like you might not belong there. And that can kind of perpetuate throughout your life and you can get really depressed and I think that's a pretty big factor that a lot of people are now realizing. I think a lot of it is to do with not school related things. Yeah, I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that you're in this life cycle again and again every day constantly excuse me uh, you wake up you don't really get much sleep you go into the same building do the same things listen to the same lectures you go to clinicals if you have that as well, come home, study, barely eat, barely shower, sleep at 12, rinse and repeat for so long. And you don't really get to see your family much. You got the majority just, of people away from family, friends, new environment, all that Yeah, stuff. it's a lot of, it's a lot. Even if you think you're the strongest person in the world, it, med school is not easy. You're going to get depressed at some point, unfortunately. Um, do medical students get summers off? Depends on where you go. Yeah, it depends. First summer, usually, usually, typically, for a lot of medical schools is off, but people do things like research, so, you know, have their last vacation, whatever, usually the first summer. But then after that, you're studying for step, you're getting, you know, doing clinicals, like, beyond that, your rotations, you have no Yeah, your summer so. essentially is studying for step. There is no vacations after that first summer vacation in general. Like, there really goes no time. Yeah, my schedule, that, I know it pretty much for the next two years, and there's no vacations. Yeah. Do medical students perform surgery? A lot of people might know the answer to this question. 
So I think in general, a lot of medical students just hold things and get pimped or ask questions, um, you know, do a lot of suturing. I think in rare instances, you can cut and do cautery like you're saying you guys mm -hmm. did. Um, but in general, well, yeah. So it, for but... people that don't understand um, listeners, just generally, you're opening up the body, you're doing something, and then you're closing it up. So or suturing is basically when you're closing up that wound and you see like those stitches. Uh, so medical students do sometimes assist with like simpler ones, uh, something that's really crazy, like a C-section generally that's being done by like residents and um, physicians. Uh, but medical students do do quite a lot. You can like, I think all I've done is cautery a couple times and uh, hey, can you pass me that? Can you pass me that tool? Can you do that? Or like the most I've probably done is during intubation, I had to hold something. Which is pretty yeah, cool. Actually, you know what? That's not true. I will say I have. My answer to the question is yes. During my OB gyn rotations, a lot of those surgeries are actually quite simple, like hysterectomies and bilateral salpingectomies and things. I was definitely on both the laparoscopic like robot hands, pulling things out and doing all that. You so were I, pulling them out? Yeah, yeah. She let me cut and do all that. I think so it's actually, very I dependent on your attending. Yeah. Very dependent on your attending. No, I drove the camera and I took, yeah, at one point to control and did cool. the cuts on the, yeah. Damn. For sure. Um, so yeah, it's very variable. At some point or another, um, you're as a student, you're going to have a pretty involved role during yeah, the case. Yeah, at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so sorry to those uh, patients. patients. Yeah, <laughs> I always they're always that. informed. We always have to tell them. They say yeah. Yeah, because most of them are learning institutions. Yeah, we you always can't get we always tell them. Yeah, little known fact, if you go to a learning institution to get any of your you're care, like Stanford, UCSF, you are most likely going to be seeing residents instead of full attending doctors, which is totally fine. Those people are amazing, but. Well, people just don't know that. Honestly, at our school, they made it a point to say, like, to their patients that if you're not going to support our learning environment, then you're not really going to be a patient. Wow. Like, you're, it's not encouraged at all. It's pretty looked down upon. Well, I do. refused my resident for my, when I went for a Durham point, she burned the crap out of me and I knew she was a resident. My dad was like, dude, you're not studying that all wrong, but all right. you get what you get sometimes. Anyway. Okay. Do medical students have free time? Yeah, some free time. You get some like, look, we're doing this video right yeah, now. We're free. It's limited. limited and bro, I go right back now, from the ICU my free time. at 7 o'clock. I'm free for the next two hours before I have to go to sleep. Okay, I think it's very dependent on where, what phase you're in. To be honest, I was pretty free for the last year, I would say. Uh, I didn't really do much on the weekends. I had a lot of free time. I went to a lot of good restaurants. I went to like a lot of social things. Now, my free time is very limited. Like, mm -hmm. with step coming up with my research, with Derm, like, it's pretty darn limited like even this video yeah that's why we haven't been filming much it's just yeah. really limited yeah i mean it's self-explanatory with my videos i don't post crap <laughs> yeah he's been in clinical rotation so that's very limiting for your free yeah. time you just want to sleep pretty much or else you're gonna be grumpy with your patients and you don't want that all right well that's it for this video thank you for watching and if you like this video, um, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to make our miserable medical school lives a little less miserable. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in our next video. In the next video, where else are we going to see you? Unless I want to look at old videos, they can look at me in real life. Okay, Don't bye, do that. Bye, bye, I will bye. sue you. I will call the police right away. Bye. Okay, bye.